Hello and welcome to another video of the art of small town business learning. Glad to have you along with us. Thank you very much for joining us today. And we're going to continue with our 10 point business plan. We're going to be halfway through the business plan in this episode. So uh, stay tuned for the other uh, episodes. And if you missed any of these, uh, they're all in the description below. There's a link to all of them down there. So uh, make sure that you uh, go down and check that out because, uh, uh, you know, as I've mentioned before, you don't have to necessarily watch these in any particular order, but, uh, you know, they're all down there. And I'm also going to make a playlist of this so that uh, if you need to return to it, you won't have to sift through a bunch of videos to find the ones you want. They'll all be assembled in one playlist. So hopefully that will help you out and uh, we'll have some tips and everything else in there as well as we go through the plan. Now today uh, we're going to talk about products and services, products and services. And uh, this is a very important part of your business plan because uh, uh, obviously it's what you're gonna sell and uh, what you're gonna put out to the customer. So it's very important that we identify these correctly in our business plan because, and I'll tell you why, it's critically important here in a moment. Uh, to start with, um, we need to stress the importance of accurately describing your uh, products and services. Uh, this is critical because, well, for a couple of reasons. One is it's going to, um, uh, it's going to impress in your mind what you need to tell your customer. So you need to sit down and say, okay, I'm, uh, I'm a landscaper. Okay, fine. Uh, that's too generic. Uh, what kind of a landscaper are you? Do you, uh, do you specialize in residential or commercial landscaping? Uh, are you a landscape designer? Will you come out to my home and put brickwork in and uh, plant the uh, flowers and bushes and all of that stuff? Uh, do you prune trees or do you plant trees or do you sell trees or uh, what part, what kind of landscaping do you do? And it'd be the same if you're an auto mechanic or something like that. Uh, what do you specialize in? Do you do domestic cars? Do you do farm cars? What do you, what is your product or service that you're offering to the person? Because this is critically important because it's going to be, it's going to be in the next part of, of the marketing uh, plan. And that is going to be your marketing. You're going to have to, in the marketing and sales part of your marketing plan, you're going to have to tell people, Hey, uh, I've got this, uh, you know, I got this business, but you're going to have to describe it to the customer. So if you say landscaper or mechanic, that puts a whole bunch of different things in my in my brain as to what that means. So it's critical in your advertising and attracting the right customer that we get these products and services uh, identified correctly. So, all right, let's talk about it. We've got uh, features and benefits. Features and benefits are what products and services have. Uh, they, um, a car has four doors. That's a feature. Uh, a toaster has four slots. Uh, that's a feature. So what is the importance of these things? Well, a feature is what a product has. A car has four doors, as I said. So, um, you know, what, what's the benefit of that? So a feature is what a, uh, what a product or service has. And a benefit is what the product or service does for the customer. So the car has four doors, makes it easier for the kids and the dogs and grandma and grandpa to get in and out of the car. So if that's a, an important feature to you, if that's a benefit to you, then that feature becomes very important to you. So we need to really look at the products and services you, that you're doing and make sure that they are accurately described in your business plan not only for someone who's reading your business plan and decided, are we going to give you money? Are we going to invest? But if, even if you're not, even if you're starting a home based or a, a, you know, a shade tree mechanic business or whatever it is, uh, you still need to know in your own mind, what your products and services are, who they're geared to and the benefit of each one of them. 
So when you list them in your business plan, I would list them with bullet points. So, you know, uh, we do uh, we do commercial landscaping, okay? Uh, what's the benefit of commercial landscaping? Well, we come around on a regular basis, we'll do this, we'll do this, we'll do this. So list those as to what you're gonna do because that's gonna become a part of your advertising and marketing in the next plan, uh, the next part of the plan that we're gonna talk about. Now, do you have a product? Um, do you have, is this something that you make yourself or is it something that you buy and sell to someone else? Do you get it from a supplier or a wholesaler or somebody like that? Uh, do you make the product yourself and sell it? So uh, what is your product? Do you have a product? So, and uh, do you have, a, or do you have a service? Do you, uh, uh, maybe you clean houses. Do you have a cleaning service? And uh, do you, maybe you have both. You not only have a cleaning service, but you also have developed your own cleaning products. So maybe that's uh, where you have two uh, situations that you have both a product and a service. So we need to make sure that we identify all of these things correctly in your business plan because we're gonna have to uh, attract the right customer to our business. Because if we spend a bunch of money on advertising and we're getting the wrong person or they misunderstand our what our products and services are, then we've wasted a ton of money. And we don't want to do that. And that's the purpose of having this business plan is that you need to sit down and really think about how you're going to identify each of your products or services, whatever you offer, to the right customer, to the target market. Who's the person most likely to want to do business with you. How old are they? What's their education? What's their income? Where do they live? What do they need? And is there enough of them uh, for you to make a living providing and, and filling that need for them? So critically important that we correctly identify products and services. Very, very, very important. Next, um, the last word on this and Again, I've got to stress it uh, very importantly that features and benefits, features and benefits are the are the absolute must you must have in your business plan for products and services. You got to identify the benefits of my doing business with you, and I'm going to be emotional about it. How are you going to make me feel? <laughs> you know, are you going to make me feel like I saved money? Are you going to make me feel proud of my home if you cleaned it or landscaped it? Or am I going to be proud of my car that you detailed it? Uh, am I going to be uh, proud of, uh, you know, my carpets uh, because they're clean now? Am I going to be happy with my birthday uh, because uh, you made a great cake for me at your bakery? Uh, there's all, all sorts of things here that, and again, in a small town, word of mouth is critical because you don't have a whole lot of advertising options available to you. So word of mouth is gonna be your principal thing. And if, and if people don't understand your products and services, you are gonna have a definite problem in uh, attracting the right customers <clears throat> and getting your business off the ground. So, all right, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Hey, don't forget down in the description below, uh, we have the other parts of the business plan. And next week uh, we're gonna tackle the uh, we're going to tackle the marketing part of this. So uh, that's going to be exciting to talk about. So we're going to be uh, doing that one next. So uh, keep a lookout for that. And uh, we will see you in uh, future videos. Thanks for watching.